Welcome to Spotlight. I'm Bruce Gulland, and I'm Liz Wade. Spotlight uses a special English method of broadcasting. It is easier for people to understand, no matter where in the world they live. A man sits at a table. There are many children sitting with him. The children are hungry. They need to leave for school, but there is no food, and there is no money to pay for food. The man begins to pray. He says. Dear God, thank you for what you are going to give us to eat. Just then, there is a knock on the door. Hello, hello. So I... a man who makes bread is looking for the man who prayed. He says, I, I could not sleep last night. I felt like you and the children would not have bread to eat this morning, so I woke up early and made you bread. Thank you. You're welcome. As soon as the bread maker leaves, there is another knock on the door. Hello. Hello. Now it is a man who sells milk. This man says his cart broke in front of their house. He needs to empty the cart so he can fix it. The man says he would like to give the fresh milk to all the children. Like the, the children now have all the food they need for the meal. God has answered the man's prayer. This amazing story really happened. It was only one of the many amazing things the man who prayed experienced. Today's spotlight is on this man, George Muller. George Muller was born in Prussia in 1805. Prussia is now Germany. As a young man, Muller did a lot of bad things. He lied to his parents and he stole money. When Muller was 16 years old, he went to prison for stealing. He was in prison for twenty-four days. During those days, he started to think about his bad choices. As a young man at university, Müller was very intelligent and studied a lot. He earned money by helping other students, but. He drank a lot of alcohol, and he owed money to people. He also continued to lie. But good people can help change the lives of other people. Müller had a friend named Beta. Beta loved God. He made different choices than Müller. For example, when Müller wanted to go to a place to drink, Beta wanted to go to a prayer gathering. One night, Müller went to a prayer gathering with Beta. He was surprised that the people there welcomed him with real care. Miller was also amazed 
at how the people there loved God. When the people prayed, Müller felt something special. He understood that he wanted to love God too. Müller describes that night as the night that something in his life changed. Over time, Müller stopped drinking alcohol, lying, and spending time with bad friends. He became a church leader in England. And on October 7, 1830, he married a woman named Mary Groves. Müller wrote about getting married, after a lot of prayer, getting married was the best choice for me. I have never regretted it. And I desire to thank God for having given me such a wife. George and Mary Muller made many difficult choices together. One month after being married, Müller gave up the money the church paid him to do his job. They decided to fully trust God to provide all the money they would need. One month later, George and Mary had very little money. So Müller prayed and asked God for help. Four hours later, a woman from the church offered him money. She said that God had told her to help Müller with that gift. Something similar happened three months later. Müller kept a diary about his life. In it, he wrote many examples like this of how God answered his prayers. Sometimes it was difficult to trust God. But every time God provided, he and Mary would praise him. Because they felt God was caring for them, George and Mary wanted to take care of others in need. In England in 1835, cholera killed many people. Many children lost their parents, and they had no families. These orphan children had to live on the streets, and they did not have any food. So Müller and Mary decided to start an orphanage. There, they would care for these orphans. Müller wrote, I wanted to care for the poor children whose parents had died. I also wanted to help them to know God, but most importantly, I wanted them to know how important it is to have prayer and faith. I wanted them to know that God is faithful and hears our prayers. Many people helped Müller with his plan to build an orphan house. Some people sent money. Some offered tables and beds. Others said they would come and help care for the orphans. With all this help, Müller and Mary opened their first orphan house on April 11, 1836. 
Seven months later, they opened another house. And one year later, they opened a third house. Soon, the orphan houses were full of children. This made them very loud. People who lived around the orphan houses started to become angry about the noise. Müller began to look for a new location. He found a big piece of land for the houses. It cost a lot of money. But Müller continued to trust God. A man offered to create the plans for the new home without being paid. Other people offered money. Müller decided not to start building until he had all the money to complete every part of the project. And two years later, the new orphan house was finished. By 1870, Müller had opened five different orphan houses. He cared for over 2,000 orphans. When building these houses, Müller never took a loan. He never went into debt. He continued to pray and to trust God to provide. The man who used to steal never stole again. The man who used to care only for himself provided homes for others. George Müller's life changed, and he changed the lives of others. He became a faithful father to many. Who cares for orphans in your community? Are there houses like the ones Müller started? Tell us what you think. You can leave a comment on our website or email us at radio at radioenglish.net. You can also comment on Facebook at facebook.com slash spotlight radio. The writer of this program was Lauren Anders Visser. The producer was Michio Ozaki. The voices you heard were from the United Kingdom and the United States. All quotes were adapted for this program and voiced by Spotlight. You can listen to this program again and read it on the Internet at www.radioenglish.net. This program is called George Müller, Father to Many. We hope you can join us again for the next Spotlight program. Goodbye.